We've mentioned a couple of genetic disorders for this AQA uh, B2 module and those were cystic fibrosis and polydactyly and what we said was those kinds of diseases passed on through the genes from the parents and they can cause illness amongst, uh, well one can cause an illness and one can cause um, an increased number of fingers or toes on the hand but there are other genetic diseases which are a little bit more serious than polydactyly perhaps uh, for example breast cancer and all of these can be passed down through the genes from the parents to the offspring. Now there is a procedure that's uh, de been developed in recent years called embryo screening and embryo screening is a way of checking embryos to see if they carry the alleles for particular diseases. So the way it works is egg cells are taken from the mother and sperm cells are taken from the father and these egg cells are fertilized outside the body and what you end up with once they've been fertilized are some embryos. Now at the roughly eight cell stage what can be done is they can be tested uh, individually to see if they contain the alleles for a particular disease. So you can remove uh, part of the or one of the cells or some of the DNA and you can do testing to see whether they contain the alleles for a particular disease. Once that has been determined and established, so for example you could say well this one uh, doesn't contain any of the alleles, this one does, this one does and this one doesn't, so these two are fine. You can then implant back into the mother and this could lead to a healthy baby that doesn't carry the alleles for a particular disorder. So that's the overall procedure for how that can be done and you can imagine there are lots of advantages but you have to be able to consider the social, economic and ethical issues surrounding it. The specification says that you should be able to do this in an informed way so you should know arguments on both sides of the issue. Now we could break it down to the social, ethical and economical issues and those would be along the lines of this. Well the social issues is it saves lives, it can help to eradicate diseases so if there is never another baby born with say cystic fibrosis that means it can never be then passed on or in a short while there will be a situation where it can't be passed on to children and of course it increases the or improves the quality of life for those individuals. The ethical issues however are that some people think of it as killing humans. Now how is that killing humans? Well if we go back a slide uh, this embryo here that contains uh, the alleles for the disease and this one here they're going to be discarded. Now potentially those could be uh, developed or could develop into actual babies and people themselves. Um, there's no, some people say there's no right to, we don't have a right to interfere with nature. There is a concern that it could lead to designer babies. So if we are choosing embryos that don't have a particular disease, can we then choose, for example, the gender of the baby? Uh, can we then choose whether a baby has certain color eyes or certain features that we think are valuable? And some people are worried that it might lead to this kind of um, Techno the technology might lead to this kind of thing happening. The economical issues are that, well, if we're not having children born with these particular diseases, it's going to save costs uh, because we're not spending money on medical treatment, on hospitals, and we're not spending money on developing drugs and um, de you know, developing medication to help treat uh, any issues that might arise or any diseases that might happen. So you need to know an, a roughly an outline of what we mean by embryo screening. You don't need to know the details of how it's exactly done but you also need to know the social, ethical and economical implications of embryo screening.